Hey yo, what's up my little coders? Let me show you in this tutorial how to solve the lead hook question 1701, average waiting time. And what we need to do is the following. Imagine the scenario that you have a restaurant and there is only one chef which can serve one customer at a time. So before chef serves the food for this customer, he cannot start cooking uh, for another customer. And as an input, we have the multidimensional array. And in this array, each uh, mini array represents one customer. The first value represents at what time the customer came, and the second value represents how long it will take for chef to cook the food for him. And what we need to do is just return the average waiting time for the customers. Here's the example, right? So the customer, the first customer comes at one o'clock. So it's the first customer, chef can start cook straight away for him. So it takes two hours, that's why chef uh, finishes cooking at three. However, the second customer came at two. So one hour before, the chef uh, serve the food. So the chef will start to cook at 3 o'clock and it will take 5 hours. That's why the chef will serve the food only at 8 o'clock for the second customer. Then the third customer which came at 4 o'clock and chef will start to cook for him at 8 o'clock so it takes 3 hours to cook. That's why chef will finish cooking at 11 o'clock. Um, that's why, so for the first customer we have 2 hours of waiting time, 6 for the second one and 7 for the last one. Uh, that's why the average, the total is equal to 15, and we divide by 3, we get that average is equal to 5. And we need to return 5 in the end. This is basically what we need to do. Okay, let me just quickly write the code, and I'll explain to you everything in a few seconds, guys. Okay, talking my little coders, let me explain what you wrote and how it works. So we start with the base case. Basically, if the input array is equal to null or it's empty, we just return zero in this case. Then we declare three variables. Last order serve time. This is the variable to keep track at what time the chef has served his last order. Then another variable called customer service type time, which basically represents the like how long it takes uh, to wait for each customer. And then the total service time is basically the total waiting time for all the customers. After that, we iterate through all the customers from our input array, customer by customer. And then we do if else check. So on the first check, we check if last order serve time is less than customer zero, which represents the first value uh, from the mini array for each customer. So the value at what the at what the customer came to the restaurant. And if and if the last order serve time is less than this value, which is basically checking if the chef is free right now and he doesn't work on anything else. So if he already has finished his uh, last order before the new customer came. So if the chef is uh, not busy right now, if, it's, if he is free, in this case, the, car, the customer service time will be equal to just uh, uh, to the variable which describes how long it takes for the chef to cook the order. Or, if for example the chef is not free right now and he is still working on the previous order, so he's cooking something else at the moment, in this case we need to take the variable which describes at what time the chef has finished the last order, So, or if it's just the customer just came, at what time chef is going to be free, then we need to add customer1 which describes how long it takes for the chef to cook the order which customer has ordered, and then we subtract the time at what this customer basically came. And that's how we calculate the customer service time if the chef is not free at the moment. And after that, we just update the, this variable again to keep track at what time the chef will finish this order for this customer. So at what, try, at what time the chef will be free for the next customer. It's simply the time at what the customer came plus the waiting time for this customer and then in the end we just update our total service time and yeah and we do it for every single customer which is in our input array and then in the end we just take this total sum and divide it by amount of the customers and we need to use doubles because our method expects to return double and we want to calculate the precise number and this is this is what it is simply as that guys let me submit the code now And we got 100%. Perfect, guys. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please make sure you challenge your friends to see if they can solve this question or not. And guys, in order to support me, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Good luck.